Hello everyone, my name is Tree. Thank you for watching my first art vlog. I am an illustrator and artist for over 10 years. But during pandemic, I moved from my hometown, Hong Kong, to Canada. It's been 15 months now. I'm currently working as a kitchen staff and sushi chef for more than a year now. But I'm also working on this side project for local clients. I would like to share two things in this video with you guys. The first one is I am a right-hander but I decided to train myself using my left hand to draw and sketch reasoning not because it's fun the reason is by working 30 to 40 hours a week physically as two restaurants team member my right hand is overload also I hurt my right shoulder accidentally I couldn't move my shoulder at all for the first three days. At the same time, I was working on my freelance job on one of the morning at the same week. My right hand fingers were feeling numb. I could only finish the job by using a very weird gesture. After that, I'm so afraid that I couldn't draw forever. You can see it here. My handwriting was not normal during that time. That's why I think I should train myself using the left hand to draw as a backup plan. So far, I did one small gorge painting and four sketches in the past week. I think it's not as hard as I imagined, but it is much slower than when I'm using my right hand. My right hand is feeling much better now, so no worry about it. But I will keep training it in coming year, as I said. It's just a backup plan. The second thing I want to share in this video is the result of my tomato time of all the goals I made in early 2022, especially about my artwork. Actually, I start using it in April this year, but still, it doesn't need to wait for January 1st to start a new habit. Although I'm really wanted to, but I decided I couldn't wait for more than eight months to do what I want to achieve. So it just start at the middle of the year. To be honest, just two months ago, the section of online class is still only 7% done. It's very humiliating and the section of drawing is less than 27% because I find it's really hard to see due to watch an online class video which is not speaking the language I can understand at all. Such as some classes is speaking Spanish with English subtitle but then um, I don't want to make an excuse but most frustrated things for me in this year is I took the driving test. The written test I passed at the first try, but the driving part I took five times to finish it to get the license because I have a Hong Kong driving license and it's very difficult to me to understand the Canada driving is a bit different and to me it just doesn't make sense. But anyway, I got it at my fifth try and I got it with zero mistake. I'm so happy. Uh, get back to the topic. It's really hard to understand with the English subtitle, but the, the audience is speaking Spanish. So I have to look at the teachers doing at the same time. I have to look at the subtitle because I couldn't understand why they speak. It's very, I, it just not easy. So I didn't do much, but then I found another way, which is I learned from a lot of YouTube art blogger. I also count it as a on a class. So I achieved at least 50% of the goal. I will say, okay, but not good. I will try it next year. I think I will take all those classes I already purchased and finish them in 2023 because the money already spent and I shouldn't waste it. I also want to show you guys all the artwork I've been done or working on during these 4,146 minutes, which is equal to 69.1 hour. I know it's not much for a whole year. Sure that I'm guilty about that. 
there are lots going on during the last time, such as I got COVID and I my work anyway. I have no excuse to not finish the goal I set. At the beginning of this year, with the great help from my partner, I draw a series of stickers for WhatsApp. It's about a year of tiger. It's some Chinese traditional simple thing. At the same time, I keep reading the book The Mice of Billy Milligan. That's why I sketch a, a bunch of 24 Lady Greedy. <laughs> Lady Greedy is a project I work constantly with my partner. Then there are 200 of hamster, which is about a news in Hong Kong linked to pandemic. There are 2,000 small ani animals have been killed because some of them got COVID. So what I do is try to draw as many as I could to process this news to me. Then my partner wants me to design a scarf for her. I continue the topic of loving animals on the scarf design. I used Procreate to draw this one. However, the canvas size on Procreate is limited and the working layer also affected by the canvas size. It's very hard process while I draw this one because I want to keep the high resolutions and enlarge original size just in case I really need to print it as a scarf. So I separate the painting into nine parts, which is so stupid to me. Even when I was working on it, I know it, but I didn't bring my welcome with me to Canada and I haven't purchased my second one at that moment, so I just suffered by my stupid decision. My partner said she is not a fan of this new style, so we didn't print it out, but it's okay, it's just a process to me and I understand it. Anywho, she always understand and support me to try any style I want, so it's totally fine. Then I found this large size sketchbook gave me too much stress. I'm always feeling tired this year because I'm like I told you guys before I'm working in a busy restaurant at the moment. So I moved to smaller scale sketchbook which which makes me feel easier to handle. There are some pages I draw or sketch. This one is not an original artwork. Just my study of my beloved illustrator Rebecca Green. I really love her style. It is so portrait to me. There are sketch of my two keys. Another random sketch I made while I'm watching Breaking Bad. I just want to keep my hand drawing a bit even when I am being a coach potato. It makes me feel less guilty. And this one is painted with my left hand. My partner went to Japan two weeks ago and her friend took a lot of picture of her. I just think the composition and the color and those photo is printable to me and I really miss my partner. We haven't met each other more than one year now. So I asked her to send me some of those photo by sketching and drawing of her image just makes me feel connected with her. The latest sketch is inspired by a t-shirt that I saw when I am watching a Netflix show called Santa Carita Diet. Yes, I watch a lot of Netflix in these years to relax myself. Maybe I should watch less in 2023. Mm, yeah, one of the main characters who wearing a t-shirt which suddenly makes me want to draw something similar but not the same so I just make this sketch. The only element I took from the t-shirt is the smoke but even the shape of the smoke is not the same so it's okay. Just the t-shirt makes me miss watercolor so much. I'm still working on this one. Maybe show you guys how it's go in the future. I also joined an exhibition which held by Hong Kong Illustrator Society. I'm so grateful I have this opportunity because by that time I still have no local design client yet. By only working as a kitchen chef is killing my self esteem. Although I know it is just a process, but the people around me just keep calling me a cheap, cheap, good, good worker because I only got minimum wages for the first five months. Also, my son said I will never be an artist again. It really makes me questioning what I'm doing now and who I wanted to be. After that exhibition, I know I shouldn't give up and I should prepare myself to be a better artist in the future. I need to be a good communicator to promote my art, so I should practice my English as well. By starting a YouTube channel helps me to restrict myself to keep doing my art because there are someone watching. I hope.
Thank you for your patience to watching this video, and there's still a week till the end of this year. I will try to do as much as possible on those days left, but also try not to stress out myself. If you have any question, suggestion, or anything just want to share with me, please leave me a comment below, or just by clicking the like button to show me your support. Have a happy holiday season and see you next time!